Henry Waxman's retiring. After 40 years of attempting to destroy our great nation, only in America can somebody like him, somebody so diabolical, so unattractive, so short, and no offense, uh, rise to such prominence. But it looks like Sandra Fluck may be seeking Waxman's seat. I don't know. Maybe I don't want him to retire yet. Forty years. Can you imagine all that great service to the Soviet Union? I mean, to the U.S. Congress. He'll be missed, the little rat fig. I mean, the, uh, the congressman. He'll be missed. Those attractive buck teeth. Those uh, rat-like eyes and ears. Oh, yes, yes. And I say this with all due respect. And there's Sandra Fluke. She can't wait. She's, she's ready to go. The next representative for Beverly Hills, Sandra Fluke. Oh, that's great. Maybe she'll be the next speaker. Be very fitting. America's unraveling. We're destroying ourselves. I think so. I think uh, the more the merrier. The more freakish and goofy, the better. What the hell? We might as well have a laugh on the way out. Don't you think, Mr. Producer? Yes. But for many of you out there who don't think you can make anything out of yourself, I want you to look very carefully at Henry Waxman. Because if that little jerk can be a member of Congress for 40 years, then anybody can, I think. Now he'll go back to his home in Beverly Hills and, uh, and do what? I don't know. What's he qualified to do? Absolutely nothing. And we'll be paying his enormous pension and health care benefits for the rest of his pathetic life. Just think about that. Ladies and gentlemen, we salute our armed forces, police officers, firefighters, and emergency personnel. I'll see you tomorrow, America. God bless you, my beloved audience. Thank you. I'm Mark Levin.